It's Danny. Happy Hump Day. Um, I just thought I would share some fun things you can do with the help of blocks um, and kind of exploring within arm balances or just building your strength up toward arm balances. And it's just important to remember that um, arm balances are fun and they're empowering and they're a great way to kind of track your progress and build your strength, but they're meaningless in the grand scheme of yoga and they don't say anything about you as a human being or as a yogi at all. It's just a good way to kind of um, witness how you treat yourself when you are confronted with a challenge, something that maybe frustrates you or overwhelms you. Um, and so just kind of notice what your thought patterns are, notice how you breathe through it, notice if you're willing to try or not, what fears come up and that sort of thing. So it's, good, it's a good way to learn um, through that scope, but don't worry if you're good at it or not. There's really no such thing. Just, you know, play. Give it a go. So I'm a natural fitness ambassador, proud to be, eco-conscious company out of Chicago. So I've got my awesome cork blocks here. I'm going to set them next to my hips. I'm going to just play with um, <clears throat> one arm balance here, stretching my right leg out, flexing my foot, grab the bottom of my left foot, and just kind of use it to kind of grease open uh, the hip socket, my left leg. And then once I get it back, I'm going to take my left hand under the meat of my calf and try to put on kind of essentially a backpack strap. So getting the leg up as high as you can and flexing both feet and then chomping down like I'm making an arm sandwich, right? So then I'll set my hands down next to my hips on the blocks. I'll lift up from my pelvis and my belly. So Uriana Bandha, Mula Bandha. I'll reverse that. And then inhale and rise up. So you can stay here, practice here. Naturally, this is probably challenging enough for many of us. If you want to take it further, you can cross the ankles, squeeze the feet together, straighten the legs to the left, and melt the heart for Ostrobakasana, eight limb pose, that's fine. Or you can start from the first pose, bend the knee, slink it through, and you're in Ekapadarata Kundinyasana, cobbler's pose. And then you can come back, and forward, and play around with it. Whew. A lot of energy. And then I bring the soles of my feet together. I take my forearms underneath my legs, get a little massage from my shins, chin to the chest, and then just slow down your breath. It's so fun. So give it a go or come take class with me and we'll practice it together. Namaste.